Today I'm sharing with you guys how to create this wave warp transition and honestly it is a super clean transition for you to use. But real quick before we go ahead and get started I want to let you guys know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the takeover shop where I sell editing assets and presets for short form content creators just like you. And if you want to go ahead and cop anything in my shop link will be down in the description below. So that out of the way let's go ahead and get straight into Premiere Pro. All right you guys so as you guys have seen in the intro this is what we are recreating today and it looks really really good. So First things first, what you guys want to go ahead and do is you guys want to add an adjustment layer, hit OK, and then go to your transition. And then let's go ahead and make it six frames long. So one on the arrow key, two, three, four, five, six, just like so. And we want to line it up directly in the center. So that way there's three frames on each sort of side. Now, if you guys want the ability, just go ahead and drag and drop this sort of effect, this transition. All you have to do is go to the takeover preset pack. Again, link down below drag and drop and you have the effect already done for you super super easy but let's say you don't want to cop it that is completely fine i completely understand let's go ahead and recreate it from complete scratch so we're going to go over to the effects tab we're going to type in turbulent displace and then this is going to pop up drag and drop it on to your thing and as you can see when you play with the amount you play with like the wave like this looks pretty crazy um and for me let's just use an effect of an amount of 35 size um let's honestly turn up the size just like so like that and then also the evolution this is kind of like how it sort of moves first things first you want to go to the evolution and you just want to create the first frame at zero and you want to go ahead just go to the end frame and just make it move just like that it's about 90. we'll play it through as you can see it just looks really really weird and just doesn't look right at all and that's completely fine because we're going to go ahead and keyframe the size in the amount and in the middle you want to select these keyframes and drag the values to the center so that way the center of the animation is sort of like the peak height of the actual wave then we're going to go to the beginning keyframes we're going to turn down the amount to zero then we're also going to control c right here just like that and then there we go we're kind of getting a little bit of a wave sort of motion going now one thing with the evolution now that we sort of have it going right we want to go to the center keyframe again and then we want to control C the first keyframe. And then at the end, we want to go ahead and control V the last keyframe. So that way it kind of goes from the start all the way back to like sort of the beginning. And now we are done with that initial step. Now let's go over to Lumetri color, just like so. And then we're gonna turn up our exposure to about maybe 1.1. That looks pretty good to me, just a slight one. And then we're gonna go to basic correction right here. And we're gonna go to exposure and then you can keyframe Lumetri color. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. The way I like to do flash transitions is actually one frame before the actual cut. And then at the beginning, turn the exposure down to zero. Control C and then control V at the end, just like this. Because I feel like when the flash is before the cut, it honestly like just looks a lot better in my opinion. And now if you want to control the size of the actual flash, all you have to do is just turn up the exposure to as high as you want it. Maybe we just want it like pretty pretty bright so maybe we just do like a two and honestly that looks a lot better so maybe just go higher amplitude it looks pretty clean and then the last sort of saucy step kind of just makes it look a lot better is uh, you can add motion blur or gaussian blur i'm going to go ahead and just add gaussian blur so go to gaussian blur drag and drop it and then we're going to go to again the center on the turbulent displays we're going to turn the blurry mounts we're going to keyframe the blurry mint we're going to keyframe the blurriness amount to zero. We're going to bring that to the beginning in the middle. We're going to keyframe it up. It's about like, let's say it's a slight blur like this, like a 14. And then we're going to go to the end and just make it go to zero. Just like that. Maybe just make it a quick one. Let's see how this looks. So that is everything you need to know for this wave warp transition. It's really, really clean. We're going to go frame by frame. Just literally you can see that blur coming in the exposure and you can see like the blur going away and the exposure going back to normal and just sort of resets. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys wanna continue learning how to edit um, inside of Premiere Pro, I have a complete video breakdown of me editing reels on screen right now. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Please leave a comment down below. And remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.